my dear fellow citizens i am overwhelmed by the affection and regard shown to me by the people of nagaland even as i stand here today as the first citizen i am deeply humbled by this experience it will be my sincere endeavor to live up to the expectation of all those who have chosen me and to serve the best interest of the people of the state and our country i am fully aware of the great responsibility that has been placed on my humble shoulders i assure you all that i shall uphold the highest tradition of this exalted position and will work for the principles that are sacred to our democratic values the oath that i have just taken enjoins me to uphold the constitution of india and to devote myself to the service and well-being of the people of nagaland in the light of the constitution i will discharge my duties with utmost sincerity i also commit fairness and justice in the discharge of my function this year we celebrated the 60th statehood day of our state as i stand before you i draw inspiration from the courage and sacrifice of all those who led our nation to freedom your affection trust and support will be my greatest strength in discharging my functions and responsibilities for me the democratic cultural ideals of india and all the citizens will always be my source of energy and as the governor of the state i will always extend my full cooperation to you nagaland is a beautiful state and the rich cultural tradition of its talented people add a distinct color to the diversity and splendor of india i feel deeply honored and privileged to be the first citizen of this fascinating state it also puts an onus on me to live up to your expectation and onus that is both inspiring and challenging it shall therefore be my endeavor at all times to fulfill this onus to our utmost satisfaction Nagaland is also a state with a tremendous potential. It is green covered, water resources, mineral wealth, bracing climate, together with the capabilities of its people, can energize the dynamics of the state economy. Science, technology, and innovation must uh, propel us towards building a knowledge society. peace is essential for growth and prosperity we need to facilitate a conducive social environment to enable the willing participation of all sections of society for inclusive development we need to ensure the highest standards of governance built on the principles of transparency and accountability the interest of our people particularly the poor should be supreme in this above clouds let us all work together try to reach for the stars and prove that our land is both beautiful and bountiful <clears throat> we look back with pride to the tremendous achievements made during the 60 years of our statehood in all spheres of life more than anything else we have demonstrated to the world that a developing state of over lakhs people each aspiring for a better quality of life can live harmoniously and move forward within the framework of a secular democracy as governor i assure the people of nagaland that in upholding the constitution i will always be inspired by the stirring message of dr baba saheb ambedkar who in his closing speech to the constituent assembly emphasized the need to hold fast to the constitutional methods of achieving our social and economic objectives today india stands at the threshold of a new era of progress the nation is moving at historically unprecedented rates of growth it should be our combined endeavor to sustain this growth 
and ensure that it is socially inclusive. We must ensure that every section of our society, particularly the weak and the disadvantaged, are equal partners in and beneficiaries of the development process. We must also ensure that every region of the country participates in and derive benefits from the process of economic growth. Today, I also commit myself to work for the well-being of all our citizens. To realize the full potential of our people, we must invest in their capabilities and empower them with a modern education and comprehensive health care. We must banish malnutrition, social evils, infant mortality, and female feticide. I wish to express my full commitment to the protection of child rights. We must wage a relentless campaign against the poverty, ignorance and disease to seek a better future for our children. We must show wisdom and foresightness in protecting our planet and our environment for the good of all living species in future generations. I am deeply committed to the cause of education and would like to see every person, man and woman, boy and girl, be touched by the light of modern education. Empowerment of women is particularly important to me as I believe this leads to the empowerment of the nation. We must ensure that science and technology serve our needs better and help us develop a scientific temper that will unleash the full potential of our people, of our farmers, our workers, our professionals and our entrepreneurs. The people of our country desire better governance, faster development and a life of peace and security. We must all stand united in the fight against such a divisive and destructive tendencies as communism, casteism, extremism and terrorism. Let us all rededicate ourselves once again to our constitutional ideals and work unitedly to build such an India. I thank the Chief Minister for his warm welcome and I eagerly look forward to working with him and his Council of Ministers. I thank you all for this warm welcome and I extend my greetings and good wishes to the people of the state. Finally, I call upon all the citizens of Nagaland to proudly excise their franchise on 27th of February 2023 and participate in the world's largest festival of democracy. Thank you. Jai Hind.